Hey guys, quick video on the uh, Wilson 1000 uh, and CB uh, ham radio antenna. Um, this is the second antenna I have had that I had a uh, open circuit with. Um, I didn't over tighten it. You know, sometimes you can over tighten and maybe you'll you'll damage the inside here and you'll break the solder the solder joint. Um, I had it on the truck maybe a year. I might have clipped a couple of branches here and there, and whatnot, but nothing. Nothing, you know, crazy, no high-speed hits or anything like that. Uh, it's the second antenna I had that had an open circuit. And both of the times, it was it happened to be this this solder joint, this solder joint right here that uh, that broke on me. Um, now, people, like, I see a couple of things posted. I know a lot of my old posts about people trying to get a um, an ohms test on an antenna. And people say, well, you shouldn't check for ohms and... You know, I could see that if you check in the SWRs, that's a different story. But if you check in the antenna itself, you want to check to see if you have a open circuit and if you have especially loaded antennas. Of course, you're not going to have a problem with a um, a non-loaded antenna. But when you check the center conductor here, okay, you check the center conductor to the outer uh, part where your coax will go on the outside, your coax and you know your shielded coax and your center conductor. You're going to get. I got a reading down here because it was connected on this end. So you're going to get a reading basically from here to here. You get a, a continuity. You might get a resistance reading, but you get a you basically get an open uh, infinity, a continuity uh, because this is just a dead, a dead short right there. It's supposed to be. You know, you got, you're supposed to have a connection there. But when I was checking the center conductor to the outer part here, I was getting no reading at all. I was getting no continuity, no resistance. So this. Um, I started everything back to, just to check it, but this was open. There was no connection here at all. There was a broken uh, solder joint. It was an open circuit here, which I was thinking, looking at the antenna itself, um, I was curious of why I would get a reading between these two, and then I, and then I wouldn't get anything here. And, you know, if, if this center conductor was one solid piece, but I think what they did, sorry for moving this around so much, I'm trying to get a good uh, shot of this. But you would think that this center part and the bottom part here uh, would be one solid piece. But it's leading me, leading me to believe that it's probably spaced inside here. Uh, I'm not 100%. I'd have to, if I desoldered this piece here and checked it, and I had no connection, uh, continuity from the center conductor to the outer conductor, then it would make me believe that it is a, like a two-piece, almost... Uh, like a dipole set up, you know, basically from one side to the other. Because like I said, I was checking it and I got a connection, I got a reading continuity from the outer shield to here, which would be this end, okay? But if this end isn't connected to the center spot in there, okay, I got no reading at all on this end. So like I said, this is the second antenna I had with this issue. And uh, I'm very good, careful with my stuff. I... I didn't over tighten and I can see if you over tighten this and maybe twist this connection you'll get a you'll get a break here uh, and I didn't over tighten this end either so you can, if you turn this you're gonna you know it's possible you're gonna get a uh, a break on this end but like I said it's the second antenna I had with the same issue this is the Wilson 1000 great great antenna for your CB uh, your, your 10 meter your skip whatever you want to it, it it handles uh, it handles power. I didn't run the thing anything more than uh, it was less than a hundred watts, if that. Um, you know, uh, on my ham radio and stuff like that. But uh, just a quick uh, show of what's inside the antenna, and uh, I might do another video. I want to desolder this, and I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna check the connection here to here. If it's open, uh, that would lead me to believe that this piece here isn't solid. It uh, is probably a two-piece inside the uh, plastic here, which is covered. You can't see it, but uh, that would lead me to believe that it is a separate piece, which would make sense because you're going to basically work off your load. Other than that, you'd just be bypassing it. So it probably is a, uh, a two separate uh, pieces here and here. So um, hopefully it helped anybody out. Any questions? I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to desolder this and just going to check the connection from here to here. So I hope it helped you out. Wilson 1000 with the open, uh, so like I said, if you do check the antenna from here to here and you have no continuity, you got a break inside, the antenna's no good. And unfortunately, Wilson doesn't make it easy to open these things up. You can see I butchered the bottom and just had to cut it. 
to open it. I tried with a heat gun to separate the bottom here and, uh, you know, this is what it looked like. Basically, was inside. I had to cut it out. Um, and uh, it looks like there's two tabs here that might, if you maybe cut these pieces, it might come out or drill them out. Because you can see on the other side, there's these spots here. But, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to buy another antenna from uh, Wilson. Uh, I might just go to the old, uh, just a steel whip and uh, go that route. All right, 73s.